Hello, this is Frankie Arnold here with the Indiana Severe Weather Preparedness slash Awareness Week, which is March uh, 18th through 24th of this year. Um, I'll take a couple minutes to discuss uh, the potential hazards of severe weather. Also, uh, what it what the difference is between a tornado watch and a tornado warning, and how to detect in the sky whether you're going to see a potential tornado event or a potential uh, regular severe thunderstorm. There's a difference. Um, again, Indiana Severe Weather Preparedness Week is March, March 18th through the 24th of 2012. Now, what is a tornado watch? A tornado watch means conditions are favorable for severe thunderstorms that could produce tornadoes. Uh, that doesn't mean a tornado is coming. It doesn't mean a tornado has been spotted. It just means conditions atmospherically could produce severe thunderstorms with tornadic activity. So prepare to take action if tornado warnings are issued. A tornado warning, now that's uh, a whole new level. A tornado warning means a tornado has been sighted or detected by radar. Uh, go to a basement immediately. If a basement is not available, go to a safe place. It's a small interior room on the lowest level of your home. If you were in a mobile home, uh, obviously evacuate that immediately in, into a safe spot. You don't want to try and outrun the tornado if it's close, but if there's tornado warning, try to get to a safe place that is close or as a last resort get in a ditch a uh, nearby ditch um, for cover now what do you look for on radar when you see a tornado uh, developing how do meteorologists detect that well if you see a little uh, hook appendage on a radar like that you see how there's a hook that indicates where the tornado is they call that a ball and that uh, hook echo uh, indicates the tornado is right in that area where the hook is and that's how they determine where the tornado is tracking on radar and obviously meteorologists call in the report, train spotters call in reports and tell them approximately where the tornado is including the coordinates of latitude and longitude. Um, another uh, observation to tell how tornado is on the ground is right here you can see the red and the green couplet they call it, it's a couplet uh, right next to each other. That's how you indicate when there's a bright green and bright red couplet right next to each other. That indicates a very strong circulation. Uh, the green is actually uh, winds going away from the radar and uh, the red is actually winds going toward the radar and that's how you indicate again the rotation around that uh, couplet. Um, now what do you look for in the sky when there's a, a tornado is imminent or the one could develop. Uh, this is called a wall cloud. Uh, wh what happens here is you get a strong inflow to develop north, or excuse me, upward. It's uh, upward motion. You get circulation to develop at the top here, and then this forces downward, and you actually get downdrafts on this side, and you'll get the circulation to develop. What happens is when the circulation develops up here, it's actually tilted vertically, and that's how you get that wall cloud to form like that and a tornado can come out of that at any minute if you see that even the whole cloud sometimes turns into one big wedge tornado so if you ever see a signature similar similar to that a wall cloud um, you need to take cover immediately because most likely a tornado could be developing uh, right near site so uh, that's a very dangerous situation now on the other hand severe thunderstorms regular severe thunderstorms with damaging winds uh, sometimes can spin up tornadoes on the leading edge of squall lines however generally speaking this squall line as you see right here that is a line of very strong winds along the leading edge of that uh, line you see here and I'll show you that on this also right there you can see how there's a, a red green cutoff that is not tornado signature however it is a very strong wind field and you can see the winds on this side are going toward the radar and this side they're going away from the radar and that's uh, called an outflow um, when you get a, a very strong wind line ahead of the storms and sometimes you can get uh, winds exceeding 70, 80, 90, even 100 miles an hour with these things uh, also known as straight line wind event uh, especially when you get uh, a very long line like that um, and if they last a couple hours or even sometimes a couple days across uh, many states they're called derechos if they cover more than a thousand miles um, they are classified as derecho. It's a long, uh, long-lived, uh, widespread damaging wind event that uh, can cause significant damage along the entire stretch. So um, that can also be very dangerous. So 
Last thing, what do you look for when severe thunderstorms are coming, such as damaging winds, straight line winds, um, and a squall line, which uh, can produce tornadoes, but generally just produce damaging winds, lots of heavy rain, uh, hail, and a lot of frequent lightning. You look for this uh, called a shelf cloud. Uh, this is an outward um, bending line of strong winds that rushes downward, and a lot of times they're classified as downdrafts if they're in small concentrated areas. But this right here would probably be a pretty widespread squall line, and you would get very strong winds as this little shelf cloud passes over your area, which could be classified as an outflow boundary, uh, depending on the type of storm you are under. Um, but again, you look for that, that's damaging wind line. There's no tornado signature currently in this picture that is just uh, purely uh, very strong winds indicated with a self shelf cloud. So, again... Severe Weather Preparedness Week for Indiana, uh, March 18th to the 24th. I hope uh, this gave you a little uh, instruction on what to do if there's severe weather that approaches your area. Always take shelter, always take it very seriously because 70% of severe weather related deaths and injuries do occur from people not taking sh proper shelter or heeding the proper warnings. Have a great and safe spring season.